Hi and welcome to an awesome new tutorial and today we'll be learning how you can as a store owner display the estimated delivery date on your product pages. Cool. Okay. So the first thing you'd want to do is you want to make sure you're on your Aftership admin panel. And once you're here in this page, you want to click on apps and then click on the AI predictive EDD app. Awesome. Now let's select the date format. So either you can choose a date range, which gives your customers an estimate on delivery date, or you can choose a single date, which gives your customers the exact delivery date for their deliveries on their orders. Perfect. Now for this tutorial, I'll go ahead and choose the single date option. Let's click on it, click confirm and the date format is updated. Next, let's configure the order cutoff and processing times. So in here, you want to configure how long it'll take your warehouse to process an order. Cool. Let's go ahead and click on edit to see how that works. So in the first section, you want to select the amount of time needed to process an order. So just choose a time. For example, 4 p.m. And for time zone, let's choose GMT UTC, for example. Okay, so what does that mean? That means that you, as a store owner, process your orders at 4 p.m. GMT UTC time every day. So in other words, when you, as a customer, place an order, the order is put on hold until... 4 p.m. GMT UTC time and that's the time of the day when all orders are sent off to the warehouse. Next, you want to choose how long it'll take for your warehouse to process the order. So in other words, once you send the order to your warehouse at 4 p.m., how long or how many days does it take for your warehouse to get it ready for shipping? So choose the number of days I'll keep it to, let's say, um, five days. So it takes them five days to get the package ready for delivery. And then finally, you want to select the day or days when your warehouse can process the order and check off the days, which are days when your warehouse is closed or not working. Great. And once you're done with all your changes, click on save. Perfect. Moving on, the last part we've got the shipping rules. Now here you can set up shipping rules and based on those rules an estimated delivery date or exact delivery date will be shown to your customers. Awesome. Let's click on add and see how that works. Cool. Now let's add a shipping rule and to begin with let's go ahead and pick a name. So I'll just go ahead and type in DHL. Next we've got apply to and in here you want to select which option should the rule apply to. Should it apply to all orders or orders that meet certain conditions? Next up, we've got the settings. Starting off with conditions. Let's go ahead and set up our first condition, which is the customer location. So go ahead and choose a country. I'll pick United States. Next, let's go ahead and enter the product SKU. So that depends on which product you want to apply these settings to. And you can also add more products on each new lines. And finally, let's choose the product type. So the settings will be filtered by products in this category. So I'll just go ahead and type in apparel. And you can also add more categories on each new lines. Awesome. All right, now, so to finish this setup, let's choose the action for conditions defined above. Cool, so you've got three options and you can choose any one from the three options. Let's start off with the first one, which is use carrier. Great, now choose a carrier. I'll pick DHL active tracing, perfect. Okay, so that's the first one. Now let's choose the second option the EDD result extra day. And so in here, you can add additional business days to the estimated delivery date, just to be sure so that your customers can get their deliveries ahead of time or on time if they've been shipped late. 
I'll add, let's say, five days. All right, and finally, let's choose the pickup date. So in here, you can select a pickup date for your carrier to pick up the order from the warehouse and ship it to the customer. And this pickup date will naturally be considered to calculate the estimated delivery date. I'll put in October 31st, 2022. All right, so we're done with all the options. And so once you're done with your changes, click on confirm. Perfect. So the estimated delivery date will be calculated based on these settings. And as you can see now, your DHL rule has been added to your list of rules as well. And once you're satisfied with all the changes on this page, simply click on enable to have the EDD, which is estimated delivery date, displayed on your product pages. So go ahead and click on enable. Great. Our product page EDD has been enabled. All right, now let's head over to our online store and let's click on a product page to see if things fall in place or work the way we want them to. Let's go ahead and test it out. All right, now let's go ahead and click on a product. Now the EDD widget will automatically appear on your product pages based on your location. And if in case it isn't, your customers can find out the estimated delivery date by choosing their location manually. So if they click on choose your location, they just need to choose their country, enter their postal code, click confirm, and they'll know the estimated delivery date right away. And for this product page, for example, people in New York can get this product on Monday, October the 10th, if they order now. Pretty cool, pretty convenient, and pretty awesome. Now, say for example, you want to show your customers a date range instead of a single date, which we have on right now. All you need to do is simply click on the date range option and click on enable. Now, let's head back and see what we get. And there you go. For people in New York, the estimated delivery date is... Sunday, October the 9th to Friday, October the 14th. And that's a wrap of the tutorial. Try that out and see how that works. Also, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any problems or any kind of issues, don't be shy. Just let us know in the comments or drop us an email and we'll make sure that you leave satisfied. Thank you so much for watching once again. Take care and good luck.